Okay, part two is a bit of an odd question. It says, explain how the answer to part one relates to the gradient of the curve at A. So we know that the gradient of the curve at A is the gradient of the tangent line. And what it's getting at is it's asking if you understand that as h gets closer, the gradient value, as h gets smaller, the gradient value will tend to this 20. So as h decreases, the gradient of the chord will be closer to this perfect gradient here. So the gradient of the chord will get closer to the gradient of the tangent at A, closer to the gradient of the tangent at A. So in other words, that red line will slowly, slowly, slowly become so perfect that it will actually be the perfect gradient line at A.